What's up? Um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing the Wayne's World hat tonight, it's uh, I like it. Last time I had the jazz hat on because I was I was ticked off at the jazz. So. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Kevin. I think I know where you're going All right. with this, and I'm smiling <laughs> heavily already. Well, first and foremost, I'm already jealous that you have the hat because, of course, first name is Dwayne, but I digress. <laughs> but I already know where you're about to go, and I'm smiling heavy already. Go ahead, please. All right, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> One of my favorite scenes from the movie, they're backstage with Alice Cooper, and he tells them it's actually pronounced Milwaukee, and uh, it means uh, the good land. Yes, the Algonquin for the good yep. land. Yep, so congrats <laughs> to the, the good land on their NBA championship. Uh, so I'm wearing this uh, just uh, in support of uh, Milwaukee tonight. That is awesome. That is awesome culture reference. Bravo, bro. Bravo for the reference. Bravo you get a standing ovation from me, sir, with that one. <laughs> Any day, all day, and twice on Thursday. Yes. And with that, with that in mind, let's get to a Milwaukee or, or, or whatever. They, 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 they won the chip. Finally, they won the chip. The first final since 1971 is before we were born. Well, before two years before I was born. Yeah. Um, and so that was great, man. They, they were down 0-2. I remember we talked last time. They were down 0-2. And we were like, what's going to happen? And so they end up just steamrolling the next – well, not saying steamrolling. They were, they were good games. But they won the next four games after they made the adjustment in game three, which was, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, put Drew Holiday on Chris Paul. Yeah. Don't fall for the okie doke on the switch when they when they set screens when when they pick a roll. Have Drew Holiday six foot three inch defensive dynamo. How Chris Paul for ninety four feet. Switch make the occasional switch with uh, uh, uh with uh, Chris Middleton if you had to, which they did. But they mainly had Drew Holiday just hounding the hell out of Chris Paul, and it made a big difference. So let's just start there with adjustment because I bag on Coach Budenholzer a lot for not making any adjustment past whatever, but he did. It was a big adjustment. So bravo to him as well. He's off the hot seat for at least another year. So um, so props <laughs> to him. So, but Cameron, let me start with you because we talked about Budenholzer and the lack of adjustments. And it turned out that the lack of adjustment was made with, uh, with Monty Wins. We'll get to him later, but let's talk about Budenholzer and the job that he did and getting those his guys off the schneid, if you will, over the hump and winning the championship for the first time in yeah, years. Yeah, definitely. I uh I think if if the Bucs had ended up losing to the Nets and you know, I, I hate ifs and sports, right? But I think sure. Bolton are uh, he could have been fired, I think. I think if, he would have been fired, yeah. Yeah. Um if if they had lost that series. And so uh to you know, to one win that series like they did and um, you can blame it on injuries or whatever. It was a dog right. fight and, 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 and they got it done yeah. to win that series and then turn around and, and come back from an 0-2 deficit in the finals. Um, great job by him. Uh, you mentioned um, just the, the adjustment with Holiday. Um, and, you know, I, I don't want to beat a dead horse. I know I talked about the Jazz a lot the last time I was on here, but I think it, this series was reminiscent. A lot of that Jazz Clippers series where one coach made an adjustment and another coach really failed to, right. uh, I think, um, to match that adjustment and the same, the jazz series jazz are up 2 0 and then the Clippers take four straight. And that's what happened here. Um, and I think really it, it was, it the Milwaukee didn't win by shooting lights out from three. I think in three of their victories, they shot just uh 20 something percent in, in three out of their four victories from, from three point land. And um, they, they won just from sheer will and, um, and wanting it more, it felt like than than uh, Phoenix, and and that's kind of how I felt as a Jazz fan in that Jazz Clippers series. Was one team just kept attacking, kept attacking, kept attacking, and that's uh, that never say die attitude that Milwaukee had. And you know, I think uh, just to just to talk on on Budenholzer, you saw. I think for me, one of the the coolest moments was when Middleton and Antetokounmpo and and uh, Budenholzer shared that hug, the three of them at the, a lot. at the end of the game. <laughs> Yeah, the three of them just embraced, and I was like, yeah, it's a cool moment. Um, so I think that speaks to to how those guys see him as, as their coach and their leader, and uh, credit to him. Yeah, and you know what, Dwayne, I, I bad, you you know, and maybe you too, Kevin, I've bad on the Greek freak a lot. I've, I've said in the past, I didn't trust him in the playoffs. I couldn't trust him as far as I could throw him because of, you know, 
He was up, let's go back in a couple of years, right? He was up 2 0 on Toronto. They made, mm-hmm. the, we're talking about adjustments, right? They made the adjustment, the Raptors did, of building a wall, the wall, to, to frustrate Giannis, to make him keep him out of the paint, make himself outside shots before he developed a part of his game of assisting the basketball and trust his teammates. So that worked to a charm, and they were out, ousted. And actually, they were up in game three, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. They were up big in game three. Mm-hmm. He choked that game away, and it was downhill from there. And then last year in the bubble, remember, Kevin, and I told you too this, Dwayne, do not sleep on Miami, right? Miami, mm-hmm. is, I'll be in the bubble setting, no home court or whatever, right? No fans. They thumped them. They just, they just thumped, they <laughs> thumped the hell out of Milwaukee. And so, again, that's why I was, I just had little to no faith in Giannis. Okay, we're not talking about the coach. We're talking about Giannis because he's a superstar. He's the mm-hmm. back-to-back MVP. He's the reigning was the reigning was the reigning defensive player the year before Rudy Gobert obviously won it this past year. So for him to just ball out, coming off a hyperextended knee that thought that many thought that, including probably all three of us thought he probably wouldn't be coming back in the playoffs. So maybe late in the in the finals, maybe. But for him to just man up and ball out the way he did, man, from games one to the end, that's impressive. And plus a 50 burger he put up in game six in the clincher where no one else wanted to hit a shot. That was pretty yeah, impressive. That, that progression from game one where he had like 20 points and I think he made six shots. Mm-hmm. I remember thinking, man, coming back from that knee, what a gladiator. I was like, that's <laughs> such an awesome performance. That's and then you get crazy. to game six where he puts up 50. <laughs> so, you know, it's, but but still, George worse that game one. But um, yeah, after that knee injury, I I I thought he was done. I thought it was, I thought it was done. I I still can't believe that because they that won me respect right there for him to come out and gut it out as it, as it was, win or lose. Mm-hmm. But then to just have out of worldly performances when it mattered the most, Dwayne. That was just he's on my respect. I gotta give it to him. The big Greek freak has officially earned this guy's respect. Well, I'll say this, right? He understood the moment because, yeah. you know, there are a lot of people, and they say it often, that you don't know when you're going to have this opportunity to play for a championship ever again. Mm-hmm. So if you can <clears throat> get your way through it, do so. And that's exactly what he did. And, um, yeah, we, we got six quality games out of him. Um, well, more than quality in three of those games. Right. But, yeah, the, the game one was, like you said, Kevin, he, he, he put up 20 plus in that game and a lot of people were like wow okay he's he's fighting through this yeah. you know how is he going to look in game two and i think game two he gave us 40 in a loss and then you know like oh okay so he's healthy the question is are the bucks going to buck and they oddly enough they stopped bucking in game two and started taking high percentage shots now there was a quote made by uh, Stan Van Gundy that Scott, I talked about in, in the double S group and a lot of people didn't catch that quote, but I thought it was very interesting because a lot of people like to talk about uh, Coach Brutenhauser about how he doesn't make adjustments. And Van Gundy said that for those who think that he doesn't make adjustments, you don't know basketball, which led me to believe that, hmm, maybe Van Gundy sees something or knows something that we don't know and maybe it's the players that need to make changes. Mm-hmm. And that's the way it seemed to me. They took better shots. Yeah. You know, they played defense. The, the adjustments that they made, you know, were, were, were capable of not holding just Chris Paul down offensively, but uh, Cam Johnson, who was that? Uh, Cam. Um, yeah, you got it right. Cam Johnson. Not just Cam Johnson, but the uh, campaign and also DeAndre Ayton. They yeah. all averaged five points less per game in the finals than they did in the Western Conference Finals. So that defensive presence from that team and their ability to, to shoot better and take better shots led to this vic- led to this uh, finals championship victory for them. And you know, you you also look back. What was that game uh, uh, four? They uh, they out rebound them offensively by twelve. Yeah. You know, they also forced 24. That was a good win. Game. game four is a guts win. 
It was a, a huge That was a good win because Phoenix could have won. Phoenix probably should have won game four. That was yeah. all on pure they were, they were up guts. Like, in the whole game, right, until last Yes, yeah. until the fourth quarter, yes. Yes, yes. And then game five, you know, they came out like bats out of hell in, in, in the second and third quarter and just outscored them. What was it, like? 80-something to 50 some. Yeah, they, they just pounded them into submission in yeah. game five. Because Phoenix so, was up big in the first yeah, quarter. Yeah, 37 yeah. to one after, after yeah. one. Yeah. And then, you know, they outscored them in, in the second half in game six. 63 to 51. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it was the fact that, <clears throat> you know, for us to say that they, they weren't making adjustments, well, but finally the players did. Mm-hmm. Um, they, and, and the most important adjustment to me, of course, was the higher shooting percentage of the defense, like I said earlier. And then, and you know, um, it just, there, there are a lot of people who say that Chris Paul was, was still dealing with that hand injury, either or, yeah. uh, you know, he says the injury. I'll still say it's the, the defensive play, and I applaud them for that. It's the defensive and then, of play. course, Chris Middleton, and 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 wow, Drew Holiday, the guy that everyone talked about before the season <laughs> started as being the the third piece that yeah. they needed. He seemed like he was missing the entire playoffs, and then here he comes in games three, four, five, and six, especially to, in game to, five. To, to, to be that, especially in game five. Game five was he was huge in game five. Yeah. Yeah, to, to, to be that boost that, that the Bucks needed. Yeah, and Drew Holly, I'm telling you, yeah, he was real big. In it. But check this out, Dwayne and Kevin. Y'all mentioned about adjustments, right? Mm-hmm. The Milwaukee needed to take advantage of what? Their size. They're big. Yeah. They're long and athletic. You know, just play to your strengths, right? So check this out. They need to be more aggressive. They were more aggressive. They had, the Bucks had 29 free throw attempts, made 25 of them. Mm-hmm. Phoenix not only had just 19 of them, Giannis made 17 on his own. Oh, yeah. Almost as, as <laughs> he took, as he made as many free throws as the Suns team had free throw attempts at only 19. That, that, that again, is all about guts and hustle with Milwaukee. That's what won them the series. Getting nasty on defense and just bludgeoning them, Phoenix down low. And just being more aggressive than Phoenix. Because Phoenix is smaller than they are. They're yeah. smaller than they are. And they, they want to experience, even though this is for both these teams first in the finals in several years, not only that, but the players, aside from Jay Crowder, none of them have finals experience. But the point is, is that Milwaukee had the length, they took advantage of the length. And they they started like <laughs> Charles Barkley calling the dumbest team in the NBA because they love taking a three point shot. Yeah, and and, for, and, and, and and that was right there with Chuck. Yeah, yeah, and we I agree with them. They all, they still took twenty seven, made only six three pointers. I'm like, come on, fellas, you better than this. But Phoenix were cold too. They were only six of twenty five, so yeah. it kind of balances itself out. Yeah, but so the, with them being cold and the fact that they would out rebound them, especially offensively, yes, that helped out drastically with Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they got bludgeon on, on offensive boards. Um, but I would say this, I was, I was one more thing about Milwaukee than moving to Phoenix. Again, I'm looking at Giannis' stat line, 50 points, 14 boards, five blocks, right? Mm-hmm. When the rest of the team, Middleton has 17 on six to 13 shooting, Drew Holiday, even though he made a difference on the defensive end, he was 12, he had 12 points, 11 assists on four of 19 shooting. So Giannis, if, if Giannis does, if Giannis scores just went for just 40, they lose. Because it won by seven. Yeah. So that's, again, man, props to Giannis. I know Bobby Poyas had a damn good game too off the bench, but props to Giannis. This is Giannis, Giannis, this is Giannis' series right here. And he won the MVP series MVP. 